ASEAN Dailies, first and foremost news from Southeast Asia. Hey, this is Arlene. Hi, this is Grace. You're、yes, still with us, and、uh, on our trends in Southeast Asia. That's right. We want to reveal a trend that is.、Uh, Quite interesting、mm-hmm. in relation with the One MDB.、Mm-hmm. We all know Leonardo DiCaprio, the、mm-hmm. actor who ha- was famed in the movie Wolf of Wall Street. Right. So apparently, it was、uh, reported that Joe Low、uh, wasn't、uh, there or wa- wasn't、um, was not、uh, uh, what do you call. Present, present. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, I can't remember. <laughs> I was not present at Leonardo DiCaprio's、uh, latest、uh, star-studded charity gala. Well, he seems to have a quite a good relationship with a lot of celebrities, and one of one of them is Leo、uh, DiCaprio. But、um, at its third annual fundraiser,、uh, the, uh, DiCaprio's Foundation, where it focused on the environmental cost,、uh, it raised、uh, about forty-five、uh, million U.S. dollar. So that marks up on the boost helped raise three million dollar for the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation. Um, actually, honestly, I didn't know there was Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation. <laughs> oh, this is the first time I read.、Uh, I heard about it too. Yeah.、Uh, but、uh, what's great is、uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is currently f-、uh, focusing a lot on environmental causes.、Mm-hmm. In fact, his latest、uh, Oscar win was about environmental issue as well as issues related. To in,、uh, indigenous, indigenous,、um, and he managed to raise a whopping forty-five、right. million US dollar.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so apparently, both、uh, Joe Low and the DiCaprio, they having a good relationship where they would attend each other's birthday parties. Oh, and also、uh, Joe's was quite notorious multi-million dollar thirtieth、uh, bash in Vegas in two thousand twelve, and where、um, the DiCaprio side. He sort of like rapped on the stage with a lot of like you know <laughs> celebrities as well. So it is very true that they're having a good relationship. But I guess with this、uh, scandalous、um, incident that's been、uh, again revealed recently, maybe they are being a bit you know putting on the low profile. Yeah, and I mean it's kind of weird、uh, because Leonardo DiCaprio is now in a very awkward and potentially legally perilous、That's、situation、right. yep. if he is too close to、uh, Joe Lo.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I I think at the end of the day,、um, Leonardo DiCaprio as an actor, he has done a great job in Wolf of Wall Street.、Mm-hmm. But unfortunately,、uh, all this work that he has done is based on corruption money. Right. So it's something that、uh, I hope he would say something about it, or at least keep his distance on Joe Lo to show that he doesn't support all this. Kleptocratic, right? <laughs> Activities. All these issues. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, this is Arlene. Hi, this is Grace. And Grace. Yes. Have you played Pokemon Go? Not yet. It's know, not here, right? Yeah, that's the thing. And the saddest thing is, even though it's not here, but Pokemon Go apparently their server. Is、uh, being received in Southeast Asia. That's right, but not Malaysia. That's right. I mean, w- we also read some articles that there is one. I mean, a Pokemon is released in Indonesia even, <laughs> but why not Malaysia? It's so sad. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm a big, huge fan of Pokemon, but, but then, I am I a big, huge to, fan. <laughs> you are, but I would love to give it a try to play the Pokemon game and see how addictive and、uh, interactive it is. And what、uh, has been said that、uh, by netizens around the world is、uh, they were made aware that Japan finally is getting the game. Yay、right. for Japan! <laughs> <laughs> finally, I mean they are the <laughs> origin country for Nintendo, but they are not one of the first, unfortunately. That's right. But.、Uh, The listing of dedicated Pokemon Go servers for numerous ASEAN or Asian country or on MMO server status,、uh, on top of Hong Kong, Japan, and India,、mm-hmm. includes、uh, Southeast Asia. So countries like、uh, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Indonesia get、uh, have gotten a mention. 
Malaysia is not That's in the right. least. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when it was released, um, the whole world went crazy about the, this I'm app. Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, since its official launch in New Zealand, Australia, the US, and Germany on Android and it was iOS, which was a July sixth. And of course, the headlines were all about Pokemon Go, and it was more active in news than in likes of Facebook, other like social media channels. So that's how much it, it's gotten、uh, the popularity among,、um, especially these younger generations.、Mm-hmm. However, Malaysia, unfortunately, it's not with us yet. But hopefully, uh, with uh, the server because the capacity is very very big. So this nation will be able to receive and also let people play Pokemon Go and let's share the joy in us together. Hey, this is Arlene. Hi, this is Grace. And you're still with us on Trends in ASEAN Daily. That's right. So. Regarding on the high-speed rail power in Southeast Asia, China is on track to become one of the major power. Wow, I mean, China seems to be very progressing. <laughs>、um, we've seen another like type of buses going in China to avoid the traffic, but now it comes to the train. So basically, China's grand plans to become a high-speed rail power in Southeast Asia is on track as a part of its One Belt One Road initiative. And although there are some obstacles, obviously,、mm-hmm. the ambition sounds quite feasible.、Uh, so far, China has been、uh, granted quite a sum of, uh, uh, I would say,、um, uh, leeway for China to build high-speed rail train、mm-hmm. in Southeast Asia. And such judgment is not an exaggeration, considering the recent movement of the Chinese Traffic Authority,、mm-hmm. most of all the China Railway Group Limited, one of China's largest state-owned companies, is making every effort to win the construction of the high-speed rail project signed between Malaysia and Singapore.、Mm-hmm. And we are, we shouldn't forget, like th-、uh, there's also another one in Indonesia as well. China is bidding hard against、uh, J- Japan.、That's Uh, right. Although we haven't really get a clear answer,、uh, who is the eventual winner of the big, big <laughs> project? That's right. So the ba- the the basically the recent construction commencement of about four hundred and seventeen kilometer high speed railway project, which will link China's Yunnan province and also Lao capital of Vientiane, is another example that shows that China's ambition to become a high speed rail power in Southeast Asia. And like you mentioned about the obstacles, the biggest one is the United States and Japan's effort to curb the China's ambition to dominate these high speed railways. But however, along the way, it's also with the Korea and Japan who is part. Participating in almost every bidding for projects. Yeah, the reality is、uh, well resp- represented by recent recall of Chinese mid subway trains in Singapore. Chinese train maker CSR、uh, Sifang tried to ship faulty Singapore mass rapid transit trains secretly back to China for repairs. However, it was immediately revealed externally.、Mm-hmm. So、uh, China still have a long way to go、That's、to、right. overcome the weak point. But the country is. High likely to become a high-speed rail power in Southeast Asia, according to the Huffington Post. So all the best to China. I mean, it's got other like ninety-eight competitors from several countries. So、uh, we'll see how it goes. Like, but then having high-speed rail power is not bad at all. It will only improve our transportation systems. Yep. That's all from our ASEAN Daily today. Thank you for tuning into Trian ASEAN. For more updates on Southeast Asia. Please go to our website at trianasean.com. If you're on the go, you can always download our TuneIn app on your mobile. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels at Trian ASEAN and Trian ASEAN TV. Don't forget to follow us on our Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram.